Last Sunday morning, I was watching a video by Mark Lindsay CNC called Designing a Monogram Sign Using Vectric Software, and it gave me an idea I wanted to try. I drew up a couple of designs in VCar Pro, and this is the one I decided to try. I didn't want to have any tabs to sand, so I used a white side 1 8 inch down cut spiral bit, and it worked great. I wanted to use some half inch MDF, but all I had laying around was some 3 quarter MDF, so I created a pocket tool path to mill it down to a half inch thickness. I'm using a white side 1 8 inch down cut spiral router bit. The feed rate is 100 inches a minute and the depth of cut is a little over 1 16th deep. I have to say that that down cut spiral router bit really packs in the dust and the loose pieces never moved at all. And here is the finished piece in the MDF. I later found a smaller piece of scrap half inch birch plywood, so I scaled down the program to fit and ran another one. The first one that I ran out of MDF was approximately 15 and 3 quarter inches in diameter, and this one is 13 and 3 quarter inches in diameter. Once again, that down cut spiral bit really packed in the dust, so I didn't have to use any tabs at all. A little clean up with the shop vac and you can see that the loose pieces come up really easy. And here is the completed one out of half inch birch plywood. Okay guys, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I put a little uh, spray lacquer on this and I think it looks a little better. Uh, turned out pretty good I guess. Uh, anyway, if you want to catch Mark Lindsay CNC's video on how to design a monogram sign with Vectric, um, I have a link below down in the description. Be sure and check out that video and also subscribe to uh, Mark Lindsay CNC if you're not already. If you'd like to get more information about the Gatton CNC, visit my website, davegatton.com. Feel free to send me an email with any questions you might have. And also, I'll put a link down in the description for the uh, Gatton CNC Facebook group. Uh, that's a great bunch of folks that have built Gatton CNCs and they can help answer any questions uh, you might have about that. So anyway, I guess that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please uh, consider doing so. Uh, you know, also hit the little bell so you get notifications when I uh, upload a new video. And also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I appreciate it very much. So until next time, that's going to do it, guys. Talk to you later.